Oh, In come Paul and Dole's lovers to present our solstice play. We're doing it for charity, so please don't go away. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a little time you will not miss while we collect for Naomi's hospice. Oh, yeah. Yes. We'll tell a tale of heroes bold and villains as nasty as the common cold. Dude. Life's struggle is what it's all about, and there'll be trouble, there's no doubt. But first, let us give a rousing cheer for our champion hey, well, who the enters drop. here. When I said a, when I said a rousing cheer, so let's give a rousing cheer for our hero who enters here. Why are you waiting through, George? Why are you waiting through? Come on, George. In come I, eventually. George is the name. I'm a hero bold of dubious faith. I'm no good at ironing. I can't play chess, but at killing and maiming, I'm simply the best. <laughs> In come I, a lovely pompy lass. I've really got a Woo! nice lass. I'm always ahead of all the fashions. Very nice. <laughs> Some escape me, me, not the Kardashians. <laughs> now prepare yourself for something even I more evil. Sure. That's him. Huge. Of evil. From his deep, dark dungeon, he has come. The man in red you cannot shun. Here he is. <laughs> in come I, Beelzebub. To look for some lost souls. Who souls? Oh, oh, souls. souls. <laughs> I'm the devil, don't you know? And welcome to my little show. I'm looking for some souls to burn. There's some round here who miss their turn. What could be worse, you mighty inquire? Enter now a toxic beast whose effects are dire. With his noxious breath and his odious fumes, what he don't eat, his fire will consume. In comes I, a dragon. Ooh. And I have just found out that eating flesh is something I can live without. I need to be more sustainable and reduce my emissions. <laughs> so from now on, I must survive within these new conditions. <laughs> you mean you'll eat no meat and consume vegetables to generate heat? On ecology, you seem quite keen. Maybe it's not just your face that's green. The only problem is how to snack. I'm used to meat and bones to crack. All of these veggies I eat now, they have me farting like a cow. <laughs> Your idea is to be applauded. I'm sure that you will be rewarded. But from beans and cabbage, please abstain. They tend to generate methane. <laughs> now I'll go scour the land and find some help with my demands. I've heard of this wonder called Prize Old Ale. Its benefits will never fail. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, stay here this time. I know, but where you go? He normally goes off now. Right. All right. <laughs> what a strange sort of dragon. Seems he's gone on the wagon. If he should fail, I'm much afraid. His end will be on my blade. So, the dragon must go off and amend his fate. The mole... She wonders if she'll ever find a mate. <laughs> Beelzebub, he lurks to gather more fuel. Enter now another nasty villain for a jewel. In Quoi! Beel. No, no, The Turkish Knights! I'm paid by the line. Mustabba slaps the name. Every kebab house in South Sea has heard about my fame. I'm the beast from the east. Ooh. I'm the barbarian with the sword. Ooh. And George's annihilation will be my reward. Ah, oh, put a stop to your bellicose bluster. With all of England's might I'll muster. I'm the champ, and there's no doubt before too long I'll knock you out. 
Well, look at the power that comes from no, afar. He's much more like a fallen star. A fading light, the briefest flash. He'll be an easy one to bash. Get zooks, this chappy wants a fight. But I'll soon set him right. This foreign Johnny won't stand a chance. And on his grave, I'll... Forest star. Hey, the bell, the bell. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Two hot blood square up to fight. Which one of them could be mine tonight? <laughs> this English top's a bit of all right, but I'm rather partial to Turkish delights. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. This, to me, all sounds rather sinister. You know, I trust him less than your Prime Minister. <laughs> His campaign soon will end in disaster, but he'll be dead in a ditch much faster. <laughs> it's obvious to see, all right, that you are not. The gallant knight. As fighting goes, you're no headliner. In fact, you're just an Asian miner. <laughs> oh, what a hideous national stereotype. Never have I heard such tripe. This English goose will be well plucked. His cause is well and truly... All right. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of your bluffing. You're just a turkey waiting for stuffing. Standing there like a big cuckoo. It's time to give you a sing to. Oh, 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 you're certainly a sight for sore eyes. I bet you're packing a big surprise. Be careful where you go, old Nick. You might find I'm a rather one in down chick. Yes, to be quite randy. That's something that could come in handy. Aha! Now there are bodies on the floor. Their injuries surpassing all known cures. I'll take their souls to feed my fires. Then to a nice warm hell, I can retire. Our fighters are on their final trip, almost in the devil's grip. All that's left is this unwed wench. <laughs> I forgot my lines now. With an ardor, an even ardor, hard to quench. No fake use of this here written. Prepare yourself for Armageddon. Only the sounding of the final trumpet can save you all from this here strumpet. Where's the strumpet? <laughs> is there a doctor to be found to kill these men who lie bleeding on the ground? Bleeding where? Bleeding here. Oh, <laughs> doctor, doctor, come and see. Our knight is wounded in the knee. Oh, doctor, doctor, do not linger. The turf is wounded in the finger. Huh? Doctor, doctor, do be quick! Our hero's got a damaged prick! <laughs> there he is! And listen to me! Here's a medic in need of a goodly fee. I'm an honest doctor. My reputation's sound. Look, if you don't get any money, I might mess around. What's this? A private doctor? His request seems quite infernal. He's greedy enough to be one of mine. Makes me feel quite fraternal. I think that he is telling lies just like some politician. It's far too late for medicine. What these need's a mortician. He'll dupe us like that scoundrel who performs at number 10. And once he's got our money, well, we'll not see him again. Look, buy me a pony. Your fears I will allay. Look, I'm far more honest than that rascal Boris J. True. A few drops of prize old out. Their souls they will return. And Beelzebub, well, he can bugger off and find some other things. <laughs> I could not agree with your prescription. Those oh. souls are mine, you cheap physician. Cheap. I thought you were an ally, but that was just a front. Get back to where you came from, you <laughs> stupid. Mind <laughs> 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 oh, the tree. Am I the tree? <laughs> Oh, slash of needs is a kiss from me. Oh, not being discreet. Just one caress of these luscious lips should set him to his feet. No, no, no. Save your charms for another day. 
Well, let the doctor find a safer way. The very thought of you undressing could prove terminally distressing. <laughs> we must not let old Nick prevail. Absolute disaster would entail. You said you'd bring them back ah, to life. Right. Please, Doctor, do not tarry. <laughs> if you make me wait much more, it's you oh, I'm going to marry. No, no, no. Adam, your grandeur is far too much for the life. You like my grandeur? Grandma, you will allow me to do this wondrous act for free, as long as my liberty you'll guarantee. I'll raise these two from the dead. I can only see one. <laughs> I'll, raise two. I'll raise two from the dead, so at least one of them can share your bed. I just don't. I just hope they won't be two vets when they realise what you've got comes next. <laughs> I can't get to him. Possibly. <laughs> get your own. <laughs> well, how is this mixture as good as that? I'll show them my welcome mat. Oh, no. The future, it looks rather bright. Now can I have my wedding night? Alas, madam, that cannot be. A safety night I now must be. A holy man I have become. And that's put an end. Oh, your fun. What has happened to my chances? Why will someone fall for my advances? Oh, my kids looking hard. How much are you looking? <laughs> Ooh, this slasher seems like quite a honey. He'll feel my need for matrimony. Now at last I've got a man, a lovely bride I'll make. And when he takes me up the aisle, you'll see that I'm okay. The prize old ale has changed me. <laughs> my sight has now returned. And with my eyes wide open, I can Moment. see why she's been spurned. Who? You know, she looks more like a camel. <laughs> she's certainly given me the ump. I need to surround myself with a great big wall, like that bear Donald Trump. <laughs> oh. He is a miracle worker! Who can bring the dead to life? He even works for nothing to avoid gaining a wife. One like that, yeah. I wonder whether a drop or two of his amazing beer could help me with the problem I'm having with my rear. The dragon's back, but I wonder if he remembers what George said. Because <laughs> if he's still producing flames, then he's going to end up dead. He appears to be... What? Oh, cooler now, <laughs> and he's not producing fire. But there's a nasty smell about it, which really is quite fire. Doctor, please help me. I need a magic cure. My plant-based diet is creating serious problems with manure. Hey. <laughs> with every veggie that I eat and every hour that passes, my digestion creates. <laughs> My dear Dragon, you do not need to fret. It might surprise everybody here to know I'm also a qualified vet. Yes! <laughs> but Prize Old Owl works wonders in all beasts and fowls. No. <laughs> Have a drink of it. It'll soon sort out the problem with your oh, bowels. <laughs> oh, wonders that will never cease. My digestion is now at peace. Go <laughs> <From> St. George. <laughs> you can put away that sauce, <laughs> for my health has been fully restored. This kind of health service I can do without. My operation's cancelled. There's no doubt. Sure. My plans for them have gone astray. I'll be back for you all one day. <laughs> now, don't hide your wealth in a paradise offshore. We know, we know some children who need it much more. Just put all your cash oh, in Christ. Whoa. <laughs> some people telling people. Just put all your cash into this bucket. Yes. And then you can tell the tax man. I gave at the pub. <laughs> so the forces of darkness have been laid to rest, and all that is good has come out best. Naomi's hospice is our worthy cause, yes. so please 
give them some money and us some applause.